Welcome to Reveille. Today's call to action is part one of turning out the vote in primary elections. As I said before, candidates you favor need your vote in primary elections because otherwise they may lose and not be on the ballot in the general election. So it's not wise to skip the primary election. Don't wait until the general election to cast your vote because you may not like your choices especially if the candidate you wanted didn't survive the primary election in your city because somebody didn't vote. Here in Illinois, we had our primary election last week. In Chicago and Cook County, over 300,000 turned out to vote to support their candidates. Latino candidates face formidable opponents, but the community, including USHLI alumni, answered the call and organized, knocked on doors, made whatever financial contributions they could afford, and on election day, turned out to vote like never before, and scored four major victories in four different levels of government. The biggest victory was, of course, the nomination of Jesus Chuy Garcia to represent the fourth district in the Congress of the United States. The most stunning victory was for a seat in the Illinois House of Representatives, in a Latino majority district that had never been represented by a Latino. Aaron Ortiz, only 26 years old, defeated a 27-year incumbent to become the first Latino nominated to represent that district. Latinas turned out heavily and helped nominate Alma Anaya to the Cook County Board of Commissioners, making her the first Latina nominated to serve on that powerful body. Finally, Beatriz Frausto Sandoval was elected judge, adding one more Latina to our judiciary. You see, primary elections are the first step on the road to empowerment. So believe in yourself and the power you have. Support the candidates of your choice in every way you can and vote in your upcoming primary election, whenever that might be. And together, Latinos everywhere will have numerous victories to celebrate throughout the country in November, arguably the most important election for young voters in their lifetime.